Hello and welcome back to No Bullshit. Today we're taking a look at a video from the Vlog Brothers, vaguely titled What I've Been Thinking About, a less than obvious attempt by them to address the recent Charlottesville riots and the supposed growing racism surrounding it in the country. And right off the bat, you can see how meek and cucked up these guys are about talking about this shit. I mean, just look at the description of the video. It reads, race is uncomfortable for me to talk about, obviously, and often have the impulse to like, stay in my lane. God, I hate when people say that phrase. White people can fucking talk about race dude, it's okay, to just amplify voices that are more credible than mine, as a white man who knows nothing about racism except for the times when I discover my own bias. What a little bitch, right? Well, let's see what else he has to say. Warning, these guys like to still use those annoying jump cuts, where they change position like every three or four words, like it's 2010 or something. Anyway, just a warning about that. I'm sure you're dreading it like I am. Well, let's do it anyway. Let's check it out. Good morning, John. A couple of months ago, mom told me a story that I want to tell you right now, but first a little bit of context. She grew up in Birmingham, Alabama during segregation. Interracial marriage was illegal. There were different schools for black kids and white kids. Racism wasn't called racism because it's just the way the world was. Yep, shit was racist like 60 years ago. We get it, Hank. Quit pussyfooting around this topic so much, though. It's making you look weak, and actually, it kind of makes you look more racist sometimes. He's like one of those types of people who tries to act so not racist all the time that it seems like he really is very racist deep down. He's kind of overcompensating, I think. Here's the story she told me. After our family moved to Orlando, she was surprised to find that we would be taught in school by black teachers. Like she'd gotten to a place where of course schools would be integrated, there would be black kids in school with us, but that the teachers would be black, she said, was a surprise and she worried, and she wasn't the only person in her friend group that worried about this, that black teachers wouldn't be able to teach us as well as white teachers. Well, let's be real here. That's actually a legitimate concern, especially back then. I mean, coming right out of segregation, black people were likely to be less educated than other races, and that's nothing against them. It's not even really their fault. Schools and education for blacks were lower quality during segregation, and sometimes still today. So seeing a black teacher right after segregation, it would be totally fair to think, hey, they might not be educated as well as white teachers. Sorry if that's offensive to you, Hank, but that's the truth. And this white guilt you're showing here is making you look too cucked up to even admit shit like this. The Vlog Brothers are way too PC and liberal to admit hard truths like this, which is actually pretty ironic since they put on this facade of being these smart nerds who love math and science and reason and shit. Hell, Hank here even runs other science and fact-based channels like SciShow and Crash Course. But do you think they'd ever cover something like this on those channels? No fucking way. No way they're going to admit that black spent years catching up with white people in education after segregation. Or what about Hank talking about race realism? <laughs> yeah, right. You ever think he'd do an episode of the Sci Show talking about how blacks have lower IQ on average? Not a fucking chance. Even though that could be considered totally relevant, especially when addressing the effectiveness of black teachers. When I asked mom if it was okay for me to share that anecdote, I think it says a lot about her that she said that it was okay, because obviously this does not make her look good. But she didn't bring this up for like 25 years. It is hard to talk about race, and I think that we need to do it more. No, it's hard for you, Hank. You and other PC progressive pussies. It's not hard for someone with balls, like me. Look, I'm talking about race right the fuck now. I've been doing it on my channel for over a year. I write down my thoughts, say them into a microphone, and boom, it's uploaded onto YouTube. It's pretty easy, actually, besides all the editing and stuff. The only hard part is getting the scones to say things that may offend people, and learning to deal with their comments and criticisms afterwards. Something tells me Hank Green here doesn't handle differing opinions too well. Something tells me he's pretty damn comfortable in his little YouTube echo chamber, full of other nerds who pat him on the back every day for being supposedly smart. No, Hank, race is just hard to talk about for you, because you're a white guilt-riddled pussy. So she wanted me to. She wanted to help me talk about it. She wanted to help us talk about it. And I feel uncomfortable talking about race. I worry that I'm going to do something wrong, that I'm going to hurt some Somebody, but I want to do it because it's important and I think it's in service of the world that I hope we're creating. Yeah, you're clearly uncomfortable about it, dude. We can tell. And I get it. Don't get me wrong. Most people feel that way too. But me personally, I don't give a shit. And to be frank, I would feel more uncomfortable wearing that gay shirt you got on there. That and your goofy ass teeth are far more embarrassing than saying something wrong about race to me. But hey, we clearly have different dispositions and opinions about this stuff. I think a lot of white people in America think it is rude or even racist to even notice 
race. Black people that I know, on the other hand, have a really hard time imagining a world in which race is not a normal topic of conversation. Okay, you've got a point there, Hank. I'll give you that. These vlogbrothers can actually be smart guys. Don't get me wrong. I just think he's a little cucked up in this video because Hank is, of course, riddled with white guilt. Racism in America continues to be very real. There's overwhelming data that shows that it affects many facets of people's lives. And not needing to think about or talk about racism is an advantage that I have because I'm white. Whoa, whoa, whoa there, little guy. Slow down for a second. I know you're fans or brainless children who buy into all your fast-paced quips as facts, but I'm an adult and you sound like you're full of shit to me. Let's go check out those supposed facts you pointed to in that annotation at the top there. Looks like another Vlogbrothers video, this one with his brother John. Good morning, Hank. It's Tuesday. I want to talk about racism today, but I'm already pretty nervous because one, I am definitely not an expert, and two, racism is big and complex and nuanced and the internet, God bless it, doesn't really specialize in nuance. Well, it looks like John is just as big a bitch as Hank, especially when it comes to talking about race. Oh my god, I'm so nervous. I'm not an expert, gall. I don't want to offend anyone. Grow a pair, my dudes. You're grown-ass men and you can't even talk about race without pissing yourselves. You're millionaires, come on. You don't even need these YouTube channels anymore. Just speak your minds once in a while. Say something controversial. Who gives a shit? But a bunch of recent surveys have shown that around 75% of white Americans do not think that there is racial bias in the criminal justice system, and a slight majority of white Americans don't think that racism is a significant problem in America. But so far as I can tell, Hank, whether systemic bias against African Americans exists in the United States is not really a debatable point. So, so you disagree with the survey of real Americans and have decided to jump to your own conclusion. Systemic racism not only exists, it's totally undeniable because of your supposed facts. Get the fuck out of here, Mr. Green. You have just as much white guilt as your wimpy little little brother. I want to look today at some data. Okay, let's begin with the criminal justice system. So last year, the U.S. Sentencing Commission released a report showing that African-American men's prison sentences were on average 20% longer than white men's prison sentences when they were convicted of similar crime. And here's where the deception begins. The Vlogbrothers like to play smart and use studies and supposed facts to sound like they have authority over what they talk about. They don't. They're just two hicks from Alabama or some shit. They like to use big words and links to articles to try and sound smart. They're not. For example, here he says blacks get longer prison sentences compared to whites. He says they're committing similar crimes but neglects to mention prior convictions. Blacks get longer sentences because they commit more crimes more often. Blacks in America commit more crimes, rapes, and murders than any other race. And it's not even fucking close. So if the judicial system looks like it's biased towards black people, it's probably because black people are biased towards committing crimes. You dunce. And in fact, in the past decade, the racial gap in sentencing has been widening. Also, black people and white people use illegal drugs at almost identical rates, but black people are three times more likely to be arrested for drug possession. So what? You're assuming that's because cops are racist, I guess? I mean, that's the whole premise of this second video. John Green says systemic racism is a fact and undeniable. So blacks are getting arrested more because of racism, right? Wrong. There are plenty of other ways to explain that gap, Mr. Green. Reasons that make much more sense than you just assuming the cops are racist. Assuming everything is because of racism doesn't sound very smart or scientific to me. Sounds like you just want everything to be because of racism. Like, maybe you don't want to hold black people accountable for their crimes or their drug use, so you blame them getting caught on racist cops. Well, I'm not buying that shit, and I'm not buying this whole video titled Racism in the U.S. by the Numbers, like it's smart and fact-based or some shit. The video should be called Alabama Man Assumes Everything Bad That Happens to Black People Is Because of Racism, Because He Has White Guilt. A bit of a longer title, but much more accurate. Now, there's more to this second video and more false assumptions in it, of course. I'll link it below if you want to see the whole damn thing, but for now, let's go back to the first video. Just keep in mind the fact that Hank pointed to this second video, so he thinks everything bad that happens to blacks is because of racism, just like John. Racism in America continues to be very real. There is overwhelming data that shows that it affects many facets of people's lives, and not needing to think about or talk about racism is an advantage that I have because I'm white. So we already went over that supposed data he cited as bullshit. Now we got him saying he doesn't have to worry about racism because he's white, as if there's no such thing as anti-white racism. Racism? There is, bro. Not only in other countries, but in America today. We're feeling it worse and worse every day in the U.S. Black Lives Matter is on the offensive, and Antifa and the left are attacking whites daily. And now we've got cucks like the Vlogbrothers enabling them. But the fact that I don't really need to think about racism is 
on the list of the many good reasons why I should be thinking about it. Ultimately, unlike some of my classmates, mom kept us in the classes that we were assigned to, and I don't want to make it sound like that's some kind of heroic decision, but I also don't want it to sound like she was a monster for having those thoughts in the first place. No one thought your mom was a monster, dude. No one but you. She was skeptical about your black teacher. Who gives a shit? I already went over why that would make sense back then, but now I have a new angle. Seeing as how you and your brother kind of assume everything is because of racism, I wouldn't be surprised if that was the case here too. Your mother could have been skeptical about your black teacher for other reasons besides her race. Maybe the teacher was rude, couldn't speak English well. Maybe she was a real bitch. There are hundreds of reasons a parent could doubt the child's teacher, but since she was black, guys like Hank here will just assume it's because of racism, like they did with those studies about criminal sentences and drug arrests. The point for me is that she wasn't a hero, she wasn't a monster, but that I can still be proud of her. When I was talking to her about all this, she said something that I thought was really important. She said, hate is so easy. That Nelson Mandela quote is true. No one is born hating another person because of the color of their skin. You know, for a couple of dopes who try to act like smart guys on the internet, you sure are a big fucking idiot, Hank. People can be born to hate others with different skin colors. It's called tribalism. Look it up. Basically, people are naturally fond of and attracted to people who look similar to them, people who are in their tribe. It goes way, way back. And in the reverse, tribalism can also cause people to be born hating people who are different than them, like people with, yeah, you guessed it, different skin colors. But I also think that tribalism is innate, that we find it much easier to be empathetic toward people who are like us, however we define them. Oh, so you do know about tribalism. Then why do you mention that people like similar people, but conveniently ignore the fact that the reverse is also true? Very interesting. Your bias is showing more and more with each second, Hank. And in America, we have a long, consistent history of not defining black people as like us, as oppressing black people, and that tradition runs right up to today. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait a second there. Did you guys see that? We just time traveled there. These Green Brothers have ADD, so it might have happened too fast to notice, but they did it. Hank mentioned blacks being oppressed and subjugated hundreds of years ago, and then bada bing, bada boom, now they're also oppressed today. Can I ask you how, Hank? I don't see black people enslaved or in shackles today. Looks like blacks today have all the rights every other race has. In fact, they often have more. If the best oppression you could come up with today for modern blacks is they get longer prison sentences, and get arrested for drugs more, you're gonna need to try again on that one, big guy. That's not fucking oppression. That's black people getting in more trouble because they commit more fucking crimes. Because the great story of human progress isn't just a story of science and technology. It's the story of increasing tolerance, increasing diversity, and human-to-human -human understanding. And that is not an event, it is a process. Here's where we get to Hank's big activism push. He's not a bad guy or anything. He's got noble goals. He's just a little misguided, I think. It's also a really fucking annoying trend on their channel. They love doing all these charities and activism events. Like they're gonna change the world or some shit with a fucking YouTube channel. I commend them for trying, I guess, but I really think they do all this charity shit for attention and to pat their egos. They have this high and mighty view of themselves, like they're some kind of philanth philanth philanthropist? Philanthropist? Philanderopist? Something like that. And bragging about charity and helping people, it kind of takes away from the whole point of charity in the first place. If you're just doing charity to feel good about yourself and to try and look good on your YouTube channel, you're kind of a douchebag if you ask me. In my life, I want to get better at listening. I want to get better at talking. I want to get better at understanding the gifts that I've been given and using them wisely. I want to read more diverse books. And I want to learn from our mom, John. Learn that beliefs can change, that empathy can grow, and that we are never done with the hard, lifelong work of bringing about a world that is more compassionate, tolerant, and just. John, I'll see you on Tuesday. More hippy-dippy bullshit. We get it, Hank. You're trying to come off as this smart, nerdy progressive type who wants to save the world with fucking YouTube videos. Give me a break, bro. You're doing this for money and views. No one but your preteen fans are dumb enough to think you guys are smart. You're hacks who use pseudoscience to try and speak from authority over people. Anyone over 11 years old could see right through that shit. And also, in case you are still on the fence about Hank being cucked up, check out this note from the end of his video. The bottom part reads, and also, thanks to Ashley Ford for kindly and thoughtfully reviewing this, which allowed me to lower my chances of being a total dope. Man, after reading that shit, I couldn't Google search the name Ashley Ford fast enough. And when I found it, I wasn't disappointed. It should be no surprise by now, but yeah, it's some black bitch on Twitter. Hank really felt the need to run this PC cookie cutter video about race by some random black chick, just to make sure he wasn't racist. And ironically, Hank, the fact that you felt the need to do that does make you a total dope. You're a tool and you should be ashamed. In the 
end, the Vlogbrothers aren't the worst channel in the world by any means. They make some mildly interesting stuff from time to time, but when it comes to their videos about race, they're just a couple of liberal PC SJWs in hiding. They effortlessly assume everything bad that happens to black people is because of racism, which starkly contradicts the rational and scientific appearances they try to put up day after day. And they're so riddled with white guilt, they can't even speak about race without running it by a black person. It's pretty damn pathetic. What do you guys think? Are the Vlogbrothers pseudo-intellectual, white guilt-infested hacks? Who's the bigger cuck, Hank or John? Comment below and thanks for watching No Bullshit. See y'all next time. And in light of these new troubling developments, I highly suggest you guys join and follow my backup accounts. Since the possibility of YouTube shutting me down is higher now than ever, right now my Patreon page is my official backup page. And you can follow me on Twitter for updates. I know the Patreon costs $1 a month, but it's really the only way we can stay independent here on the channel, free from Google's tyrannical reign. Please consider joining there if you want to make sure this show stays afloat in the future. Thanks again for watching. One more thing, I want to give a special thanks to these amazing Patreon supporters. You guys are the best, you guys went above and beyond the rest, and I love you so much for it. If anyone else wants to donate or join our Patreon crew, link in the description. Thanks again. For drug possession. For drug possession. For drug possession. Because I'm white. Because I'm white. Because I'm white. I wanna be just like Alabama Man. <laughs>